Man, y'all, this is terrible. You are a natural born public speaker, and that's a fact. Do you actually feel guilty of what you just told to feel guilty? Focus on actually what we can do. You point it out and show it to me. You have the freedom to do what you want to and be what you want to in America. What are we going to do about it? What to press me? Just saying. It's going to CRT stuff BS. What's going on, folks in Folkorama? So you guys all seen the news here in regards with um, Bruce Willis. And first of all, major, major, major prayers out to the Willis family and even to people that are like extended family of Bruce Willis, because this is absolutely terrible. I don't know if many of you know what aphasia is, but aphasia is a disease. And what it does is causes you to lose your ability to communicate. So some people don't know this, but it has some aphasia has something to do with speaking, communicating, et cetera, et cetera. Parts of your brain actually deals with communication. Something happens there. So anyway, when I say you lose your ability to communicate, a lot of patients and residents that I've had before in the past, because we've treated this now, most of the time, though, they, they're with a speech therapist, but we still have to do some type of things with them, coordinating exercises, different things like that. To see if there is any communication type of abilities left. So what I mean by that is what they end up losing. They end up losing the ability to speak, to express what they're trying to think and say. They also lose the ability to communicate in most kind of ways. So as far as like trying to write something out, they lose that 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 information that's supposed to be going from the brain, going out to the hand to to produce emotion to communicate. A lot of it gets it gets lost. And this is absolutely tragic. So a lot of people ask me if I can talk on it. And yeah, I'm not I don't treat now, guys. Now, I'm just saying if I know about something that I know and that I treat it, then I know about it. But I'm, if there's some things that I just don't know about because some people request me to talk about certain things like alopecia. When y'all mentioned that about Jada Pig, everybody know that's a house, a house that is a hair losing issue. But it's not nothing that we would consider to be like a disease to where it's a threat to your life. This right here is major, guys. Like this is absolutely major bruce willis is losing his ability to communicate or only i don't even know how far he even is right now because it just pretty much came out but i think what it is that if he was to go public or something like that and the family was with him it'll be something that i'm pretty sure that would shock everybody like i said because i don't know how far along he is but don't be surprised that if they finally do come out and do an interview with bruce willis that you won't see an ability to communicate i mean it, it is it is it can it can be very stricken now there are a lot of things that are rumored out there, folks. There are different reasons why a person can become and have aphasia. One can be from trauma, you know, getting hit in the head or anything like that, where it causes any type of damage, certain type of things in the brain where it can call lesions in the brain. Also, it can come from like having a stroke, you know, uh, the part of the brain, you know, an occlusion happened or something like that. That part of the brain can have deoxygenation going to it. Something can happen with a blood vessel or something like that, aneurysm, certain things like that. Also, it can be a result of onset Alzheimer's. I'm just letting y'all know because some folks don't, you know, people are gonna speculate all kinds of things. But from my experience and from what I've known, those are like some of the biggest things we see to come up with people that have aphasia. They have a stroke, they have some type of traumatic event, you know, some type of blood bleed or something like that to the brain. And then also, though, there is another thing though that this can be a result of, and that's tumors being in the brain, which of those things we really don't know yet. So the issue with it though is that um there's two pretty much types of ones that I've that I've seen, and that's uh, fluent and non-fluent pretty much, or what they call the Wernicks or the Broca. You know, Wernicks is pretty much dealing with the side of the brain right there where uh, they all have their pros and cons. Well, none of us really know, none of us really good at all. But in certain cases, people that actually have some shape, form, or fashion of communication that's left, most therapists or speech pathologists, speech therapists, they try to work and coordinate with what they have left before that starts to leave. But then there's also a part of it to where you start to see a what may seem like a speech impediment or the communication is not coming out like they would want to. So, for example, let's just say if I said I want to go outside, you might hear I go outside or things like that. Or you say you hear things like if a kid, you know, it almost like come out like how a child would talk, you know, I uh, I they some they don't they don't know say I'm thirsty I want water they might say want water want water you know they they they're trying to say I want some water I want something to drink but they'll it just comes out of those small little you know spurts like that want water want drink I eat things like that so again 
I don't know how far along Bruce Willis is with his aphasia, but it doesn't even matter because, you know, when you get stricken with something like that, it is absolutely life changing, it's life altering. Uh, there's different things that people can do to kind of try to keep that there and what they're trying to communicate. So, guys, I mean, I'm not, you know, I'm just being honest with you. Sometimes we have boards that they'll be able to touch and try to communicate what it is that they're trying to convey to the person. Some of these things might have food on it. Like sometimes, I mean, guys, I'm talking to where it's really, it's really, 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 really take a lot of thought to go into it. Because again, it's hard for them to communicate information out. The other issue is that it's the actually, you know, the receiving of information or, you know, the receiving of communication or any type of, you know, uh, external stimulus of information that's coming in. So you could be talking to them and asking them questions and they can just look at you like. So it it it, it can be I mean, y'all, it's, it's really devastating, you know, because with aphasia, it you you feel like you want them to say something. They'll look at you. As if they're listening to you. Sometimes they got they make a face as if like they have no idea what you're saying. They lost the ability to actually understand the communication that's coming in. So if you come in and ask them how are they doing or something like that, like I said, I don't know where he is, but you can come in and ask them how are they doing and nothing. They'll just look at you. So what makes this so crazy and so hard is that communication. What we call like an in, afferent, inferent, whatever you want to call it, what you want to call it, internal, external, the communication itself. Can you imagine you not being able to have no information coming in and understand it, nor are you able to push that information out? It depends on how advanced it is, is what I'm getting at. Okay. It all depends on what part of the brain that he has. Like I said, dude, the two that we mostly see, the, the Wernicks and uh, Broca, that, that's, that's mainly the, it's, I think it's the third one, but I forget what that one is. But, I don't know how advanced he is, but I'm just kind of letting people know these are the things that you're dealing with. So the reason why I'm saying all this and going in debt with it, because like I said, I've seen it a lot in my field and man, it can be devastating. You have people that may have Alzheimer's and you talk to them and say, how are you doing? They can say, oh, I'm doing fine. And they'll just start rambling on about something else, but they can at least tell you how they're doing. A lot of times they sometimes can tell you that they're hungry or even if they're not hungry, you can put the food in front of a person that has Alzheimer's. Depends on what kind it is with the dementia. They can they'll eat the food or they'll say, oh, yeah, I like cheeseburgers, you know, and but they, they have a hard time remembering who their family are, you know. So that's one thing. But aphasia, you can't understand what anyone is saying to you, nor are you able to communicate that out. So that's a crazy place to be in. But like I said, there's other strategic things that people can do to try to keep the communication there. For example, they use like a board, okay? So a lot of times people have different kind of boards with technology today. I'm pretty sure there's a world, world, world of all kind of different things they can use. And I'm pretty sure with Bruce Willis, I'm just being honest with his social economic status, he'll have like probably the latest and the best stuff presented to him. But usually there's like some shape, form, and fashion of a communication board. And with that communication board, if he's talking about he's hungry, he might look at the board and he might point to what he wants to eat. Or something like that. But trying to actually sometimes say exactly what they want, they can't. So pictures, different things like that are what they would have to use. And, you know, and they have to get on the schedule sometimes. Like they know that he needs to eat breakfast. They know that usually by noon they're going to be giving lunch. And usually by, you know, 4, 30, 5 o'clock they're going to give him dinner. And when they do that, they would probably have to show them a picture of what it is that they would want to eat. Or what it is that they would want to drink. You know, so anyway, um, I just wanted to kind of do that little quick video to kind of give you guys my insight on it and from what we've seen now people saying what does it have to do with like you know orthopedics or therapy or anything like that well again i know it don't most of the time but when it comes to therapy we have usually there's a group of three that are like we call like our triple powerhouse whatever you got physical therapy occupational therapy and speech therapy or we call them our speech pathologists and they deal a lot with those things like that so in like this case he most likely would be having like a lot of things dealing with a speech pathology but at the same time i don't know what happened to bruce willis like i'm telling y'all but i told you that it can be a result of a stroke it can be a result of having a tumor on the brain it can be a result of like having onset early alzheimer's something traumatic to him so i do not know the extent of how much he's affected by it and I, we will not know unless they come out publicly and show that then i'll be able to get more insight into what roles different disciplines would play into helping him but yeah physical therapy occupational therapy a lot of them can play a role into it because let's say for example if it is a result of a stroke and he might be flaccid on one side or weak on one side or what we call paralysis on one side or paresis on one side we don't know the extent of it yet but all those three disciplines definitely will play a part in helping him 
either maintain what he have and try to hold on to it or just finding other means to deal with the family and work with the family, how they can communicate better with him to, for him to be able to express what it is that he's desiring. So anyway, again, folks, y'all make sure y'all put some prayers out there for this. Cause this is a very, very terrible thing to have to be brought upon anyone. You know, this is something I wouldn't wish upon anyone. So uh, let me know what y'all think by leaving in the comments below after this video. All right. I am Ty Smith, modern Renaissance man, hoping and praying that every last one of you have food, shelter, and clothing. And most of all, I hope and pray every last one of you guys are in great health. God bless you through Jesus. What is going on, folks? Appreciate you guys watching. Do me a favor. If you're trying to get to the next reaction video that I did after this video, it's right here. But if you're trying to get to my own personal stuff where I do a lot of comedy things that make you laugh, can help brighten your day, then you click right here, all right? And if you want to subscribe to this channel and you forgot to get to know who I am first, all right? Then you're going to click right here to lead you into this description. Make sure you hit the bell notifications to get notified anytime I post a video, all right? Peace.